Understand backup and recovery methods. In this lesson, you will explore backup management, backup options, and recovery methods. Here are some guiding questions. What is included in a system image backup? What advanced option allows you to start Microsoft Windows with the last registry and driver configuration that worked successfully? How are previous versions used? Here are some of the Windows backup tools available to us. We have File Backup. Windows Backup enables you to make copies of the data files for all the users on the computer. The System Image Backup. Windows Backup enables you to create a system image, which is an exact image of a drive. A system image includes Windows, your system settings, programs, and files. Previous versions are copies of files and folders that Windows automatically saves as part of a system protection. And System Restore reestablishes the computer's system files to their state at an earlier point in time. You use Windows Backup and Restore to backup and recover files and folders. You can get there by uh, going, opening Backup and Restore by clicking Start, Control Panel, System and Security, and then Backup and Restore. The first time you run it, you'll have to set it up. It is recommended to save backups to an external drive. You cannot save backups to the system drive. You can save backups to a network location and Windows will issue a warning if there's not enough drive space to store a system image. Backups can be saved to a read-write DVD. However, other people would have access to this type of backup. Backups stored to an external device should be stored off-site for disaster recovery purposes. Looking at backup options, you can let Windows choose, which is the recommended method. Windows backs up data saved in libraries, desktop, and default Windows folders. You can choose, so you can select from the libraries and folders that you wish to include in the system image. And you can also, backups can be set to run on a regular schedule under both options. Looking at system backup locations and methods, a local backup, the backup is saved locally to an external drive or media. An online backup, the backup saved to a remote location or service across the internet, typically through an encrypted session. A cloud backup is a variation of the online backup with data saved to a cloud location such as Microsoft, Microsoft SkyDrive. Automated backup, Windows backup and restore will schedule the backup to run automatically. Many third-party companies offer backup services for home office users as well and the importance of backups must be emphasized not only for businesses but also for home offices and home users. System imaging is available with Windows. A system image includes Windows and your system settings programs and files. You can use a system image to restore the contents of your computer if the hard drive or computer stops working. Restoring a computer from a system image must be a complete restoration. You cannot choose individual files to restore and all your current programs, system settings, and files are replaced. Creating a system image is a common recovery method. Microsoft has a command line tool called imagex.exe which is used for imaging in an enterprise environment. Another command line tool, wbadmin.exe, can perform all graphical user interface based backed up functions from the command line. And here we're looking at the wbadmin space forward slash question mark, which gives us a syntax for the command. Windows offers multiple options for system recovery. System restore does not affect any existing documents or personal files. Recently installed programs or drivers may be uninstalled using System Restore. System Restore is a great tool for restoring the computer to a prior point to being affected by malware. The files installed by malicious software will still need to be remote, removed after the restoration. You can get to System Restore points by clicking the Start button and typing System Restore in the Search Programs and Files box and pressing Enter. When you do that, you'll get to this dialog box, which allows you to restore the computer to an earlier point in time, and you can open the System Restore dialog box. Once you're in the System Restore dialog box, here we can see the list of all System Restore points that we are able to roll back to. So you would select one of these on the list, 
that you would want to roll back your system to and then click the next button and we can see these uh, restore points are created automatically through by when things like a Windows update runs or we install a new program or a new driver. When you're ready to recover your system you want to boot the system into an advanced boot options menu by pressing the F8 key during the startup but before the Windows logo appears. There's two common boot options here, the safe mode, which is a troubleshooting option for Windows that starts the computer in a limited state, only the basic files and drivers necessary to run Windows are started. Another option is the last known good configuration. You use this to start Windows with the last registry and driver configuration that worked successfully. So if you're troubleshooting a system after you've installed a new driver or something and now your system will not boot, you can choose this option to get back to the previous known good state. Upon pressing the F8 key it will bring you to the advanced boot options menu screen here and from here we have various other options available to us. One of the options safe mode with networking starts Windows in safe mode and includes a network drivers and services needed to access the internet or other computers on your network. The safe mode with command prompt starts the computer in safe mode with a command prompt only and no graphical user interface. This option is intended for IT professionals and administrators to be able to use command line tools. The enable boot logging creates a file called ntbtlog.txt which lists all the drivers that are installed during startup and which might be useful for advanced troubleshooting of your system. Here are some questions I'd like you to discuss with your group. What advanced boot mode loads basic files and drivers necessary to run Windows? What does a system restore accomplish? What is backed up by default with backup and restore?